this was crazy and dramatic and I am glad to be home, but now we're down to the final three, me, Destiny, and Amber. All three of us are so different, it makes it really confusing to understand what exactly it is that Brett's looking for. So after 20 women living in here for God knows how long, the house is completely quiet. Being in the house with 20 other girls was totally crazy. All the drama, all the laughter, all the tears, and it's been such an awesome ride, and I can't believe that I'm still here. Good morning, ladies. Got a few accessories with the note this morning. Oh, we have to clean? This is gonna get pretty interesting. Wait a minute, are you, are you serious? I came here to fall in love with Brett Michaels, not to be the cleaning lady. I don't know what's going on. Leave the note there. You guys have a good day, and I'll see you in a little bit. OK, right. thank you. OK, I guess I'll read it. You're back from Vegas, but the stakes are still high. Still anyone's game, my girls never say die. Get yourselves ready and clean up this place. <laughs> Today's adventure brings a familiar face. I'll see you in one hour. Love, Brett. Yay! We get a note from Brett. It says something about a familiar face, and I'm so nervous because we don't know who's coming. The doctor is in. <laughs> <laughs> Cleaning the house, scrubbing the bathrooms, and all you think about is what is going to go on. How you doing, sir? Hey, how you doing? I walk to the top of the stairs, and there is my dad, and I scream. It's a wonderful moment for my dad to be here. <laughs> Given everything that I've been going through emotionally, physically, psychologically, everything, it's so good to have my dad, who's been the rock in my entire life, be there. Because, wow, it feels good. I cannot wait for him to meet Brett. Mm -hmm. I miss you, Daddy. Hello, sir. Sir. So today, each girl's parents are coming to the house, and the first person I meet is Amber's dad. Sir. He has a very powerful spiritual connection with Amber. Interesting. Sir. Sir? Hey! Well, this Very is my good. daddy. So nice to meet you. I plan a barbecue today. We got a little football on. Yay! So we're all good. We're covered. Yeah, football. Oh, wow. hey, no, why don't you take a minute, walk around the house a little bit, just make your show sure. everything that's going on in here. Okay. My father is a down home southern gentleman, conservative. He's a church going man, and a part of me is kind of nervous about what my dad is gonna be subjected to. Oh my God, I hope he's prepared. Hey, you guys. Hi. This Hi. is my daddy. Seeing Amber and her dad, it sucks because last time I saw my dad, I was 17, and the last time I saw my mom, I was 20. So I don't have a traditional family like most people have. I'm sure we'll all hang out more. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna show my room and stuff, okay? <laughs> I'm not in touch with my family, and I don't know who's coming for me. Hello, we're Destiny's family. Sorry, sir. Hey, Destiny! Okay! I'm really scared that I'm gonna be the loner crybaby today, and I don't know what Brad's gonna think of, of me not having family. <laughs> it means a lot to me that my parents came here, and I'm very excited that my parents can share this experience with me. We can all share it together. It's awesome. Hello. Hi. How are you nice doing? To meet you. Hey, very nice, nice to meet you. More. Nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah, it's a pleasure. Buddy. Thank you. Destiny's parents seem very hippie-ish, biker hippie-ish. It's kind of cool. Dad's got a very awesome tattoo circling his entire head. This is going to be good. You got some beautiful bikes. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yeah, we'll get in. We'll take a good look at them later too. All right. Hello! Hey, 
Yes! Hi! Hi. I'm Amber. All the family are getting to know each other, having a great time, getting acquainted, and I am I feel awkward. I've been on my own since I was 15, and I wish that I had you know, parents there at certain points. There's a knock at the door, I'm like, what the hell? And I am wondering, like, is it gonna be my mom? Like, did they get in touch with my mom? Could it be my dad? Could it be an uncle? I don't know how Brett could have found any of my family. Daisy! Oh, there you are. Can you come down, please? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, sweetie. It's Stephanie. Stephanie is Charles's sister. <laughs> how are you so much? <laughs> And Stephanie have always had a pretty close relationship. She is basically like my surrogate sister. <laughs> this is Brett. Hi, Hi, how are you? This doing? is Stephanie, and this is Hi, Charles's Stephanie. sister. Uh, so you're Charles's real sister. Older sister. Gotcha. Now Stephanie seems nice, but it is a little awkward that her ex or supposed ex-boyfriend sister is here representing Daisy's family. Do you want to take a moment and just um, show you around wherever you want to go? Just Thank make you. yourself at home. I'll see you in a minute. Leave okay. this here. We'll take care okay. of it for you. Same. What I'm really looking forward to is getting to know the girl's parents. I mean, as any guy knows, there's nothing like hanging out with the girl's parents, talking about politics, good times. You're not going to call me dad, are you? No. <laughs> Do you have hair underneath that hat? <laughs> Sorry, are your parents still alive? I immediately was on the defense. I saw you <laughs> his <laughs> there. She's sleeping. Yeah, you're trash. trash. Sorry to bother you, big boy, but I just uh, had somebody yell at me and uh, Heather that okay. I need to be concerned that my daughter your Oh, Lord, here I go again. <laughs> what would you yeah, like to drink? Like... Anything at all? What you got? Let me see. We got any, whatever you want. I the white restaurant. No problem. Yeah. Yourself? Anything? I got a Pepsi. You got a Pepsi? You don't no. drink at all? No, I'm drinking. No alcohol. A, a, a diabetic or? A, no, actually, I have cancer. Do you really? Liver cancer. I asked Tommy if he wanted a drink, and he said no, he can't drink. And I asked him why, and he told me that he had liver cancer. And I totally did not expect that. Well, I'm really sorry to hear that. Did it? They right, gave gotcha. me till March. For real? Mm -hmm. Wow. And then he told me he had less than six months to live. and. I gotta tell you something, that that really hit me. I wanted to show you, look, this is my bike. I just had it built this see. year. Oh, man. This is sense. a beautiful bike. Yeah, I've loved Harleys from the word go. I think I was born right. with it in my blood. All through my life, I've raced dirt bikes. And, oh, you know yeah. what I mean? You either feel it, like I get on that bike and ride, I'm, I'm oh, free. Man. You know what I mean? It's, I know it's, that feeling. It's a good feeling. It's just. It's a good feeling. I like to go fast. <laughs> yeah, I can definitely relate to Tommy right now. I like him. The fact that Tom came out here to show support for his daughter, that really, really meant a lot to me. So should we, or do you want to bring your food over? We'll go yeah. set with everybody yeah, and... Yeah. <laughs> Tommy, you want to go out and help me out? Yeah. Randy, you want to come out and help sure. me out? We'll go barbecue a little bit. To really get to know the parents, I figure why not have a barbecue? All playing fields are leveled with one good barbecue. You have... Two daughters, a son and two daughters. Amber went through this with me. I'm just trying to get it all. Uh, my oldest daughter, her name's Jenny. She's 44. Amber is 37. What is her age? 37. You have known each other since kind of 12th century. Wow. How old are you? Um, I'm 32. <laughs> okay, good. 37. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Got it. Amber's dad drops a big bombshell on me. He tells me that Amber is 37. Amber told me she's 32. Amber lied to me. Immediately, red flag. I am wondering what the hell else Amber is lying about. I decided a good way to shake it up here and get some honesty out of these girls is to bring in the parents. Mm -mm. Good meat. I'll take a breast. <laughs> oh, will thee. <laughs> I like breasts. Mm -hmm. That's a heck of a breast. That's such a big breast. <laughs> Brett, do you see how big this breast, breast is? I do. <laughs> <laughs> I do. <laughs> I think I'm embarrassed for my dad. 
I don't know if he finds this amusing or what. Yeah, I don't know. Lord. Cheers, everybody. A great Cheers. meal. Love you, man. I think we got something really awesome for you to see from the new tour. Okay. So you get a little bit to see a little bit of what we do. I have the parents here so I can learn different sides of these girls' lives. But right now, one of the most important things is for me to really show them a true side of my life. This is rock and roll. This is a little cut from this year's concert from St. Louis. We just wanted our fans to see a live, raw, uncut night of us playing. So this is what you'll get to see. That's it. Woo! I'm just enjoying a fine quality music video when suddenly destiny becomes more beast than man. It's insane. Destiny is definitely acting like a groupie after a poison concert. And he's just not into it. He's holding my hand and he's watching his show. That's pretty cool. She was becoming Destiny, the super fan. But I'm seeing her come alive, loving Brett Michaels as the rock star. I'm worried that she's not gonna love Brett Michaels off the stage. Well, I hope you enjoyed this presentation. Daisy, you must get ready for a date. We're going out to a very special place. And then tomorrow, we have very special dates, all separately. Okay. So while each girl's parents are here, I want to take each of them out separately and spend some real quality time getting to know the parents and the girls. Daisy and Stephanie, you're going on a date with me tonight. I'm awesome. You ready? Hi. Are you guys having fun? Yes. All right. I just want to tell you, we're going to miss you, bud. Mm -hmm. Destiny is trying to make me jealous and wreck my date, but seriously, that, that was really just classless. Heck yeah, that felt oh. good. Oh yeah. Hey, hey, hey how are you doing? Oh my God, long time to see you. How are you been? Always a pleasure. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Rainbow is like one of the most famous rock and roll places ever. Oh, yeah. We got the VIP. Oh, show look for at this. You. I'm excited that he picked me to go there. You have never been. No, ever, ever. Oh. Like I, I've never Fearless. even been to the I've never been to the whiskey or the rock table. Did you go down the Viper Room or no? No. <laughs> no. Yeah, I was like, no. another place that I'm like, I need to go to the Viper Room. This is the coolest, coolest date like ever. Here comes the big question, right? And I think you know what I'm gonna say. Charles comes in, obviously I can see the minute he comes in the door, they have some kind of connection, meaning still. And last but not least, this is Daisy's ex Charles. I'm Brett. He says, we have, you know, we're friends. I'm like, okay, we have a one bedroom apartment, okay. We have a lease we can't get out of, okay. I understand there's an emotional connection as friends, but then to say we've been together, haven't had sex in two years, haven't had sex with anyone else in two years, it's a little, I don't buy it. I'm trying to have a good time with Brett and have fun, and it doesn't seem like, doesn't seem like an appropriate time to bring up baggage. We had a breakup. Like, right. Something happened. Somebody cheated on somebody. You know, but you know what? Our relationship had already been like oh, wait, both wait, wait. of. You cheated. I didn't on cheat on him. No. And and, and he, he cheated. Clean... I'm not. Trying you, to... you know what I'm getting at? There's a big chunk of the I'm not puzzle to missing. Anything. I'm trying to put it no, in. No, it's there. like you know what? Like we were dealing with that while this whole thing, and I was just like, I'm sorry. I'm coming over here now, and I'm going to find love and. Whatever you do is what you're gonna do, yeah, and I'm yeah. sorry. You know, my life is not black and white. My life is color. Thank you for the education here, Kodachrome. But what the hell are you talking about? I am just not quite buying yet whether or not they're still doing the bump. Good later. Love you. Love you too, baby. My parents are tired and they're going to bed. But there's no way I'm going to bed. I'm gonna wait up for Daisy and Brett so I can kiss Brett one more time before bed. What's your take on all this? I think the important thing is life doesn't end here. What if he chooses you? Well, what happens then if I am the one that's with Brett and mm -hmm. 
I'm, I'm his girlfriend or whatever, <laughs> you know, interest, then I'm gonna go back to my daily routine of, you know, doing music videos, acting, doing TV shows, whatever, bartending, hosting, whatever jobs I okay. get. And <laughs> in, in six months from now. And six, I can't really say because that's six months from now and who, who really knows what can happen between now and then. There's no mention of Brett in Destiny's life at all. She's not as emotionally invested as Daisy and I are. And I'm thinking, what is she really wanting out of this experience? Is it Brett or is it the experience? Once I accept what it is and I'm okay with it, then I'm okay with it and it makes relationship awesome. What happens is if I feel like I'm constantly, it's just another shoe, after a while I start to feel like she's just full of shit. It, meaning there's just so much stuff she's hiding that I, that, then, then I'm just like, you know what? I'm just gonna go out and have fun. And if I meet another girl, it's great. And if I don't, it's great because I really don't care. I'm having dinner with Daisy and Stephanie at the Rainbow. Daisy tells me everything is over between her and Charles, but right now, I'm just having a tough time buying it. You're seeing things as a guy. Not well, I don't guy. know how else to see them. And for women, you're just like, nope, sorry. Really? Not happening. Um, it's the, it's the, it would that be that way for me. There is no attraction. There is no physical attraction anymore yeah. because the emotion's not there. Exactly. Anymore. I respect that you are trying to protect yeah. your heart because Absolutely. that means there's something there yeah, for you. And that was important to me yeah. to know that this was not just a game. Right now, Stephanie and Daisy's story is kind of adding up a little bit. Stephanie seems like a very straight shooter. She has truthful eyes, and right now, I'm believing her. There's been so much like. Feuding and fussing. It's fucked up shit that he for him. It's like I would hope that since Brett has heard from me, Charles, and Stephanie, that we are completely over with. Can you just trust me now? We're okay. ready to go. Yes. All right, let's do it. Okay. Daisy has not really been completely upfront and honest with me, and sometimes I got to be honest with myself. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to handle it. Everybody downstairs? Uh-huh. Oh, not everybody. I hate waking up. Good morning. Good morning, folks. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'll go ahead and give that to you today. Okay. I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay. All right. Bye. Thank, you. Thank you. Good morning, fantastic families. You've traveled far to help me learn what's deep inside and where to turn. Our time is short, so let's make it last. Two more dates are coming fast. Amber Destiny and special guests get ready for fun and my final tests. From 20 to 3, the time draws near for one more girl to disappear. Love, Brett. Knowing that there's elimination tonight, all I can do is focus on having a good time with Brett and making a connection with Brett so I stay in the house. That means we gotta be ready. Have fun, you guys. Good luck. For your little sweet girl. Are you amazed that she's doing this? Yeah. <laughs> but having a child changes it, you, you know? Yes, it does. I, I sold my Harley. It was like, family, Harley. Family, Harley. I'm like, OK, my Harley. So I sold That's my... big. Yeah, it was a big step for me. You must have been very much in love with your baby. Oh, yeah. Good morning. Good morning. I have plans for you today. I know you love to ride, so we got you a killer bike today. It's oh, going to be awesome yeah. for a great oh, ride. Yeah. Nothing better for the soul than a good oh, ride on a yeah. bike, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Take a look at that. Oh, that's a beauty. When I found out that Destiny's father was dying of liver cancer, I wanted to plan something really special for him. I know he loves bikes and loves to ride as much as I do, so I thought no better way to spend this day than to get her parents on a bike and put Destiny on a bike with me and go for a ride. It is good for the soul. It's so cool to see my dad riding a motorcycle with Brett, and it just it makes me happy that, that he's enjoying himself. It's a nice bike. Shall we ride? The 
this was awesome because they were truly surprised and happy and you could just feel the energy. This was gonna be a good day. I bet you have no idea what we're about to do. Since Destiny came to this house, she's been talking about getting a tattoo. Well, I'm gonna make that dream come true right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Duke, how are you doing today? Hi. This Hello. is Destiny. Destiny, this is Duke. He is the man here at Lucky Luciano's custom hey, tattoo baby. studio. <laughs> whatever you want, whatever your heart desires, you get, all right? Okay. Wow. Take care of it, all right? So, what are you thinking of getting? Since I've been in the house, I want the Rock of Love logo, the heart with the two swords. I decided that I wanted to get the Rock of Love logo on the back of my neck to represent this experience because it's a time that I'm never going to forget. I'm wondering um, also if, I, if we should do the Rock of Love or maybe just the heart and the sword. Do you want just the heart with the swords? I, I don't know. I'm thinking maybe. Something I think I prefer else. that. Because I think it would just be too too much with the rock. Love. In the first season with Heather, she got my name tattooed in the back of her neck. It's kind of a crazy thing, but you know, I'm crazy. When Heather got there, when she got my name there, she was really committed to getting it. Like she knew, like there was there was no stopping her. You sit in a chair. Let's get you in a chair. If you feel faint or okay. you need a break, just let me know. Okay. Enjoy the ride. You know, Destiny was very concerned that this tattoo was really, really going to hurt. However, Destiny's face looks a little turned on by the pain. I think it's turning me on a little bit. We are done. Let me really? Take you are fast. Look at that. The little pop right there. Oh, yeah. Look, see what I mean? Oh. Like it just pops out of her neck. Here, that is awesome. Well, That's this, incredible. This experience it. <laughs> in, in the house of Rock of Love has definitely oh, changed honey. me. And yeah, it's been good. Getting to know you. And that helped. Duke did an amazing job on my tattoo. I am so happy with it. Yay! Brett, thank you. Give me a hug. You're very thank welcome. You, so much. you are welcome. Brett loves my tattoo. And I am so happy that he brought me here. It's not my name, but I'm okay, uh, I'm dealing with that emotionally it right now. It represents you, though. I'll Red. represent there you. There you go. <laughs> Thank that was you. a good day. I was so nervous, oh, but thanks. No, you shouldn't yeah. have been nervous. You rode great. This is such an awesome experience and a day that I will never forget and a day that my parents will never forget. And I've got this tattoo to prove it. <laughs> yeah, I got the, yeah. the heart and the sword. Like no, no, no. It's <laughs> not my name, <laughs> as breaking as it yeah, was. was. Holy <laughs> hell, Destiny has the logo of the show on the back of her neck. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'll see you all in a little bit. Thanks again. Right. You're welcome. There he is. Yay! You, you look great. Thank you. So it's time for me and my dad to go out with Brett and have a good time. I'm definitely looking forward to it. For my date with Amber and her father, I want to do something that Randall has never experienced. Sushi. <gasps> Is this awesome? Oh my God. Well, I have a place for you right here. I love sushi, but my dad? I don't think he's ever tried that before, and my dad is a meat and potatoes kind of guy. All right, you need a good education on the art of eating sushi. This here is the ahi tuna. Think where you might want to start in that vicinity. Um, <laughs> Shall we get a little sake and dad first? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay, we better do this. Yeah. I do this, but when it comes to getting it, it's a whole, like this one has to be yeah, longer yeah. out. See what okay. I'm saying? You got to make the bottom further out than the top. Oh, you right. just, Shut just up. reach in and dig. <laughs> You want some more? Did you like that? No, you don't know yet. Daddy? Yeah, hold on. I'm fighting this thing. <laughs> Who's got it? Reel it in. Reel it in. Mm -hmm. Yay! I know. <laughs> One of the things I was going to ask you while we were here, and I know there was a bunch of stuff that me and you, I know we want to talk about stuff. You have been so pretty brutally honest with me. But there's one question I thought that you had told me that you were 31 years old. Oh, my God. I can't believe I lied to Brett. You know, we were talking about age, and I openly said to everybody, I said, I want everyone here to understand I am 44 years old. I don't want anyone here to think I'm 29 or playing a game. I'm 44 and I have two daughters. I thought you had told me you were 31 or 32. I am terrified. 
that Brett now doesn't trust me. And now I feel like I've broken that trust in that bond and it just kills me. And I'm not saying that you, that there's this open book of lies. That's not what I'm accusing you of. No. I, I just need to know between us. I don't want to think anything other than what's real. Amber is smoking hot at 37 years old. But I want to find that one girl who is completely honest with me in this house of lies. You had told me that you were 31 years old. I don't want to think anything other than what's real. Brett found out from my father that I'm 37. Apparently, I told Brett a different age. In my mind, I never lied to him about it. I know she said something to me. If, if any of the girls asked what her age was to be evasive about it, but if it had anything to do with you, to tell you what it was. Right. Let me just clear this up. I have a career. In this career, I have to stay younger than I am. I did tell the other girls that because I do have to protect that. But when it comes to you, I have absolutely nothing to hide, and that's the reason why my father's here. If I had said that, I apologize. It really got to me. And the stupid thing about my career is going to make me look like a friggin' liar. I know I'm here for you, and I've given you everything I've gotten. Right. I wanted my dad to meet you. Right. And he's the most important person to me. And. I have been searching for this for such a long time, for this that we have, this true bond, this true connection, right. and the sincerity. But the reason why I'm here right. is to find love. And I found it, and I don't want to lose you. Gotcha. And I've fallen... Right. I've fallen in love with you. It feels good to tell Brett that I have absolutely fallen in love with him because this could be my last chance to tell him how I feel. Right. I can't give you anything else. And all I, I can do is be honest with you and my feelings. Right. I'll tell you how I feel, and now right. it's up to you. I don't, it's gonna be, I don't wanna say I know what I'm gonna do tonight, but I got a lot of thinking to do. I feel that Brett and I have built such a strong bond that something so stupid would get in the way of us being together. All right, we should roll. I'm so glad that Amber came clean with me about her real age. But the truth is, is it bums me out that she's been lying to me about it all the way up until now. Everybody, do we have everybody? I get back to the house and I think by now, I have learned all I've wanted to learn from the parents and maybe a little more than I should have. I just want to tell you all, I want to thank you for uh, really spending time with me and, and just talking about the girls. Obviously, at this point, I've got a really, really tough decision to make tonight. You know what I mean? And something that I'm, they know I'm not looking forward to doing. But I thank you all, and, and I hope you had a great experience. Yeah, thank you very Good. much. Let me say goodbye and thank you very much. Enjoyed it. I think any father feels like, you know, that uh, their daughter deserves probably better than Brett, but he's, he's a good guy. Even though it was an awkward situation, you made it very awesome. Even though you're the ex-boyfriend's sister, I won't hold that against you. I hope that what I said to Brett clarified things for him as far as the relationship that Daisy and Chuck have now. They still are friends. Doesn't mean they're going to be romantic. And I hope that he's really clear on that. Thank you, and I hope that our paths will cross Oh, yeah. Yeah. I hope that Destiny and Brett get together. I would definitely welcome Brett into my family. Thanks again for today, Brett. Yes, thank you. You're welcome. I hope enjoy yourself. Make yourself at home for three more minutes. <laughs> no, just... <laughs> but don't... <laughs> oh, baby. Thank you so much for every single thing. I'll see you guys soon. I know. Love I'll you. see you guys really soon. It sucks to say goodbye to my parents. I don't want them to go. I didn't have enough time with them. I don't like this at all. Bye, dear. Bye, hey, baby. It's OK, baby. Okay. I love you. I love you, too. Oh, my god. Saying goodbye to my dad, that's the hardest thing for me right now, because there's so much tension in the air. This is the final elimination before he chooses, ultimately, who he's gonna be with. <sighs> I just wanna air out 
anything that I need to say to you guys because I firmly believe I'm going home tonight. So I need, I need to say it. Destiny, I'm just being honest right now. There's one thing that kills me that I did not say to your face and I feel bad about it and it's killing me. But I thought, I wasn't sure if you had completely given your heart to Brett. I really wasn't. I didn't know if this was a party or if you, you know what I'm saying? I questioned that. I'll say it right now. It's hard for me to give my heart 100% to a person where I don't know if it's being returned. I'm definitely open to him, but I'm not gonna fucking be like, yeah, I'm in love with you, Brett. I don't know him in that way. I can't say that. Destiny admits that she's not in love with Brett and it validates everything that I've been feeling. Do you feel like you're in love with Brett at this point? Yeah. I am. I can't help it. I cannot control my heart. I've opened it. It's there. I'm vulnerable. I'm stupid. I'm all these things that I can't but control that's right now. Can't. Let me. That's what I, mean. I can't control the way I feel. So Daisy, are you in love with Brett? Yeah, I am in love with Brett. And it's gonna suck if somebody else takes my place who isn't here for reasons that I'm here for. I'm here for Brett. I've done the best I can do, dude, and I just feel like I fucking haven't had enough time with Brett, period, bottom line. I feel like I've given plenty, plenty of my heart to show them that I am here for Brett. If they don't know by now, then fuck them. Would you still be here if it was like John Bon Jovi? Would you be here if it was John Stamos? Or is it that you're here because it's Brett Michaels? Dude, I can't answer that. Tonight is elimination. There's three of us left, and it seems to me that Destiny is not here in love. I think she needs to go home. I'm overwhelmed, I'm scared, but I don't regret telling him that I have fallen in love with him, and now it's in his hands. I feel like I've done the best I can do to spend time with Brett, but I feel like maybe it just wasn't enough. At this exact moment, I do not know who I'm going to eliminate. I hate that I have to make this choice. Well, here we are. First of all, I just want to say this to you. I cannot thank the three of you enough for allowing me to be part of your lives. I've got three absolutely beautiful girls who I care about a lot, and one of you is going home tonight. I'm gonna start with you, Amber, first. What I absolutely love about you is your drive, your ambition, your intelligence, your funniness. What is the downside is that I wanna make sure in a relationship that that drive and that ambition doesn't become just a business relationship. If Brett sends me home tonight, I will be crushed, <laughs> to say the least. Destiny, what I love about you is you are complete rock and roll. You're a wild child. I love that. Your father taught me in this short experience, he taught me a lot about myself. And in just that short amount of time, I was blessed to be in his world. The downside, I feel in your life, there is a possible transitional period right now. And I just wanna make sure that in this moment in my life, that we aren't just connecting at the wrong time. I do care about Brett and I'm trying the best I can to show him my feelings. Daisy, we have a very strong physical connection. You're very creative. I love the way you sing. Obviously, you know what my concern is. You don't have just kind of a closet. You have sort of a walk-in garage of certain amount of skeletons that I feel we're working real hard to get through, and I'm not sure in my heart yet that I felt that I've worked through all of them. Daisy, is there anything at all, anything at all that you want to tell me? There's something that I do want to tell you. Earlier today, we had a conversation with Destiny, and she said that she is not 100% low you. I said, Amber I can't right say that I'm... Room. I said this to you as well, that I'm falling in love with you. I have, I've given everything. Right. And I feel like Daisy has too.
Amber I can't right say that I'm room. in love with you, Brett. 100%. It takes me maybe a little bit more time than they. Right. Did you come here solely for Brett, or if this was a different show with a different guy, would you be here for him? And you couldn't, you couldn't, and you couldn't answer, answer that, that question. Because and then they're like, I don't understand. It's not valid. How is that not fucking valid? Because we're here with Brett fucking period. No, no kidding, but you know what? I knew coming in. Did you know? Yes, Brett I did. I, like, I auditioned okay, for the first season. I wanted to be here so bad I couldn't even barely watch it because it tore me up inside because I wasn't a part of it. I can't believe that Amber and Daisy are both turning against me. I thought Amber was my friend. I cannot say that I am in love with you. But what I can say is I deeply care about you and I have feelings for you and I'm willing to do whatever it takes to take it to the next level. Earlier today, we had a conversation with Destiny, and she is not 100% here. I can't believe what a bitch Daisy's being right now. I cannot say that I am in love with you. But what I can say is I deeply care about you, and I have feelings for you, and I'm willing to do whatever it takes to take it to the next level. All right, here is, here is my true feeling, regardless of what is said. Two girls today have told me that they are falling in love with me. One girl told me today that she was loving the experience. And Destiny, I just, I would like you to come down here, please. You are an awesome human being. You are awesome. You are a strong person. And everything, everything about you I love. I wish I would have just had more time <laughs> to get too. to know you better. I realize you have not had enough time for your heart to fall in love with me and me not to fall in love back. Is that fair enough? That's fair enough. I'll never forget you. I'll never forget you either. Your Torrin's here. Tonight was the most heart-wrenching elimination I've ever done. In the end, Destiny truly, truly needed a few more years to go out and party and have more time to spend with her parents, especially her father. Hello. This sucks very much that I didn't get the chance and the time to spend with Brett. I think Brett and I would have made an awesome couple. I think we would have had so much fun and just had a blast together. <laughs> but we'll never know now. I want to go on the record officially of saying I'm not a crier. I want to tell you, though, on a very uplifting note, I am so happy I've got down to two beautiful girls who I care about, obviously, insanely. And I want to say, on a great note, we are going to be taking a huge trip. <laughs> Here's the plan. We're going to jet down to Cancun and have the most <laughs> awesome, awesome time. Brett is taking me to Cancun, Mexico. I'm like, give me some tequila, Mexican food, sexy walk on the beach with Brett. Hell yes. Come on down. <laughs> I realize, oh my God, it's the final two, and it's me and Daisy of all people. I feel like now I am in for the fight of my life. I'm thinking this could work out <laughs> fine for, you know, this feels real good. Amber, Daisy, get ready. We are fucking going to Cancun. Ready to rock that world? Yeah! Let's do it. <laughs> you getting full? I wouldn't say I'm full. I mean, how in the world can you get full off of this stuff? I mean, you don't eat a lot of it. You play with a lot of it. Well, you just eat a lot of it. <laughs> so you didn't like the fish. You want to try something else? OK. Uh, no, I, I believe I've had enough of this. Are you full? I, I wouldn't say I'm full. I'm just full of this. <laughs>